For cheap, reliable, and fast coins, make sure to go to golda.com and use the code DUCKY at checkout. The link is in the description. Yo, what is going on, guys? It is your boy Ducky the Gamer back again with another video. Now, today's video, I'm going to show you guys a coin making method. Now, I've uploaded one this year. It's really sad how few coin making methods there are this year. You either have to be really like smart Madden wise and like auction house wise, or you just have to be really good at sniping to make coins this Madden. Uh, but this is a method that involves very little knowledge of anything in Madden. We just literally click a bid button, and there you go, you can make some coins. Um, so this method um, is basically doing the 10 trophy pack, but instead, but this method requires a bidding on gold players for 2,000 coins at max, um, and then putting those gold players into um, the 10 trophy set. Now, I don't know how well it's going to work because it is currently 3 o'clock in the afternoon, um, and I don't really know how many people or like how many auctions are going to be posted at this time, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and try to bid on as many as I can. Uh, and there is an auction house glitch which pretty like it, it pretty severely hinders how well this can work um, because if you try to scroll like to the next thing I've already bid it and it doesn't work it doesn't scroll so you can only bid on one page at a time so you have to search and it reset your time which really sucks because uh, the, the objective is this is to get as far back as you can in the time like you want to bid on the players when there's like three or four seconds left because then that'll maximize the chance of you actually winning the player uh, because it's about winning the player not just bidding on all the players you can so being the last person to bid on it is obviously the goal that you want to have in mind. And you al you always want to bid 2k. You don't want to bid like, oh, I might try to get this for like 1.7k or 1.8k. Like, that's really never going to happen. So you always want to try to bid um, just 2k. Not really go over 2k. Maybe 2.1 at the max. Because really trying to maximize profit. And it looks like someone, Spidey, so whoever this person is, has gone through and bid on a ton of these players. So I, don't, I didn't get a single bid off this round. Um, but it's not like sniping where you have to wait five minutes every like every five minutes you can get like 10 players maybe um, which is one pack but this you can literally pick up your phone wherever you want you don't have to know the snipe times you don't have to do anything um, you, you just pick up your phone put in gold players for 2,000 max bid and then you start bidding that's all you have to do um, I don't really know how many I'm gonna win it looks like I'm winning a few um, even though I'm not that far back in the time and then once again you can just click search and click search again or you can go my bid or whatever and go back to browse and then it'll reset which really sucks um because if it goes well if they fix the auction house glitch where you can just keep on scrolling then it'll be a lot better because you'll stay like really low on the time um uh, and then you'll get more bids obviously uh but i'm gonna try to get a few more bids see how many uh see how many bids we've actually won because last night oh that was a bad bid uh but last night i was winning around like for every 10 players i bid on i'd win three to four of them um and it really just depends when you bid because uh, right now, uh, it's it's three o'clock, and everyone's in school. But my school's been canceled all week because of Hurricane Matthew. But still, it really helps if you could do this in uh, in times when people aren't on. Because if you're doing that, then you're not you're competing with a lot less people. Uh, because I'm winning a ton right now, so it looks like the smartest thing to do is just go and bid on these players. Uh, like usually during school or like late hours of the night or earliest hours in the morning, because there's always many players up. Um, there might not be as many players up as uh, as there might be at like a peak time at like 6 in the afternoon or 6 in the night or whatever. But still, as you can see right here, I did win. Uh, looks like half of it. I didn't get that many bids off because in the first page, uh, that Spidey's kid was stealing all my bids. Uh, but I'm going to see how many people we bid on. That's two. So we lost six. Uh, we actually won four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, we were actually over 50%, more of like 60, 65% of the bids that we placed we won, which is really good because I only spent like 2 minutes doing this. Um, now what you can do is you can try to relist these players and get just direct profit, but I don't really know how that's going to work out for you guys um, because you might have to relist them a ton, especially if there's 75 overall defensive ends, no one's really going to want them, but you can't put them up for 2500 to win to sell, that's not really the smartest idea, but I'm going to go ahead and do a trophy pack, a 10 trophy pack or 2. And see what luck we can have with these and I actually sort of found this out on stream because I remember uh, Madden 16 like the really early stages of Madden 16 I bid on players and also Madden 15 um, I did a bit of gold bidding players um, but this is always gonna work because sniping like they only drop once every five minutes and there's only a select few that drop but with this there's always be gold players up that are way under listed and even if a thousand even if a hundred thousand people see this video and do this method it can't be ruined because you'll still be getting bid snipes um you might not be getting a ton of bid snipes if this method becomes really popular but for some weird reason the prices of gold uh trophies just plummeted today i don't really know what that was about they were going uh for like 5k the other day i swear it's like two days ago they're going for 5k now they won't even sell for like 4500 coins 
So they're going for like 4.2k right now. I have no clue what that's about. Uh, but elite prices are still up like 20k for an elite trophy. So that's really good. Uh, so if you pull one elite trophy, you've made your coins back. And every other card you pull in that pack is profit. But it's not guaranteed to pull an elite trophy. But I have had packs where I've gotten three or even four elite trophies in a pack. So if you do one pack and you get a really bad pack with not even... A gold trophy don't automatically assume that this method won't work because it does work you just can't rely on one or two packs like if you the more packs do the there's a higher chance that you profit like if you do like 10 or 15 packs it's almost guaranteed that you profit because uh, you've already pulled a gold three silver so that's 8k right there um an elite will make us profit oh wait, oh see that's the clutch right there you don't think you're gonna pull anything that elite trophy is 20k the silver trophy got four of them that's 24k with the gold that's 28k in this pack it's not a spectacular pack um but we did profit off of it we made 8k in a matter of minutes by bidding on players for 2,000 coins putting those players in the 10 trophy set and then selling off the trophies now you don't want to keep the trophies or put them in sets um especially large quick sells don't do the large quick sells that's just wasting your coins there's absolutely no reason that you should put your uh, trophies into the large quick sell because this year they're not really good they're not spiced up they're not juiced up I don't even think I've seen a 1 million coin uh, large quick sell pull this year, so it's extremely rare to pull anything of value. Mad Mobile Slay opened up 150 and only got 3 million coins worth. He didn't pull 3 1 million coins. All of his pulls totaled to 3 million coins, so they're pretty bad this year, the large quick sells. That's why I really don't like doing them on stream um, or just doing them in general because I know I'll be losing coins, so not a good pack at all. Like I'm saying, guys, uh, this pack, we only got, what, like 10k off of this pack, so we did lose... 10,000 coins, which isn't the best, but I'll see if I can uh, do one more. I think I will be able to do one more pack. Uh, but if you do like 20 or 30 of these, which I know is a ton, a ton of players, but I've done 206 of these, and I guarantee you I've ended up in the profit uh, because of doing all of these 10 trophy sets. And after I open all my pro packs, like if I open a million coins worth of pro packs, I can do 12 of these sets because I'll have a ton of gold players left over. So I always do this. I never just sell the gold players off. And there we go, there's our first lead. We're three cards in, so every single card after this is instantly profit. There's a gold trophy, that's 4k profit. Anything else, could we pull another gold? We don't pull another gold. Um, but after doing these three packs, we made um, like 6 or 7k on this pack. We made 8k on the other pack, but then we lost 10k. So after doing three packs, we're actually in the profit of like a few thousand coins. It's not a lot. Um, but once again, you want to do as many packs as you can because if you only do like one or two You're not really there's not a high chance that you'll profit But if you keep on doing these packs, you'll get enough of the really good packs and some even crazy packs I've had packs that go for like 70 80,000 coins um, after you sell the trophy So if you get that pack starting off this method just gets really easy for you We want to start off with like a hundred thousand coins for this method uh, which isn't really hard to come by nowadays um, especially because people have I've had the game for a long time now but if you start out with 100,000 coins then you're guaranteeing yourself you can get five packs if you bid 2,000 on each player and doing five packs I'm not guaranteeing you guys this is not a guaranteed coin making method there's a very 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 high chance that you profit the more you do this but once again I don't really know what the heck is going up with the gold prices uh, the trophies they were going for a lot of coins now I really don't know what is going on the silvers have stayed the same all year this will go for about 1,000 coins um, and also you want to make sure you sell your bronze trophies because it might not seem like a lot uh, But selling your bronze trophies might add that little bit of extra coins from the pack that might actually make you profit So these 20 will actually go for 4,000 coins So 4,000 coins doesn't seem like a lot But after you open like 10 or 20 of these you'll have a ton of uh, bronze trophies on your bench that you can sell Get yourself like 10 or 20k uh, just from bronze trophies So make sure you sell every single trophy they get from these packs don't keep them at all um, you can, if you want to, buy trophies later. Uh, but the main thing is, is to just sell everything you get and only spend 2000 or maybe 2100 max. You really want to make sure you profit on these packs. And there are three elites. That is like 60k right there. They go for like 20k. Um, so that's an easy, easy profit on these right here. That's really it for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a pretty basic coin making method. You don't need a lot of knowledge about the game, and it really can't be ruined. It's not like a filter or anything like that because there's thousands and thousands of gold players always up on the auction house. That's never going to change. It's always going to be a part of Mad Mobile. People list them up for crazy prices. They won't sell, so people bid on them for cheap. Get them for 2,000 coins. Get them for less than they're actually worth. 
Uh, but if you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to drop a like. And if this method ends up working for you, make sure to comment down below because I want to see how many people actually have this method works for them. Because I know it worked for me in manual 15, 16. As you can see right there, I just profited in uh, this manual box 17. I profited a few thousand coins off of those packs. But if you guys are new and want to see possibly more coin making methods in the future, don't forget to subscribe. It's been your boy, Doug the Gamer, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.